Hey, this is directly for Gloria Borger. You made a statement regarding President Obama, the Republican Party, and Democrats that was completely ridiculous and intellectually responsible, assuming, of course, you're aware of what I'm about to say. You should be if you claim to cover the White House. First of all, you said that the rise of Trump was a reaction to eight years of Barack Obama, as if that was a bad thing. You forget something. Congress has been controlled by the Republican Party for the most part. Any initiative that the president would want to get through that looked like it might be socialist or would call for a subsidy would be certainly blocked by the Republicans, which I might add, as a group, decided they were going to block anything the president came up with. You know that. So why the hell would you sit there on national television and make some ridiculous comment as you just made? Knock it off, okay? Just please, knock it off. If you claim to cover this, and you say that you're aware that wages haven't increased in 15 years, that goes beyond President Obama. Far beyond President Obama. In fact, why don't you go back 30 years? We have had the problem of not adjusting as a social economy to outsourcing of jobs that goes back three decades, at least. And it's an enormous problem that spans parties, spans ideologies, if you think about it, and goes back to a time when we thought American power would never go away. We completely took for granted the fact that countries like Japan at first, Korea, Taiwan, were using government money to subsidize production in major industries, lowering production costs artificially, and allowing their companies to reduce their products and sell them around the world at competitive rates. That is what happened. We've had a constant cycle after cycle after cycle of this, and it's torn the American economy asunder such that we have the divisions that we have that we're experiencing today and we see today and what some would call the wrecked middle class or the ignored middle class or the middle class that doesn't exist at all. Hyperbole in all cases, but I digress. The real problem is our inability as a country to collectively address the problem of not just income inequality, but wage declines with concrete solutions like, for example, targeted subsidization of wages to convince businesses or to stay here, but design but policies designed in such a way that they can't be easily abused, these programs, so that a company goes offshore anyway. Okay? We haven't had any of that. And that takes not just one party, but two parties working together in a way that we haven't seen. It takes a Washington working together in a way that we're having, we haven't seen. And regardless of whether it's Bernie Sanders or Donald Trump supporters or even some Hillary Clinton supporters, the fact of the matter is, and certainly President Obama supporters, the fact of the matter is this. We're tired of Republican obstructionism. And the White House has said, and Gloria, you know this, the White House has said that the rise of Trump is because the Republicans, the Republicans have blocked Obama initiatives. You didn't tell that story. So on the one hand, I could say you're being intellectually responsible, but on the other hand, I could say maybe you're being anti-Obama. Bad. I'm pro-Obama, proudly. I have no problem saying that. I'll tell you where my biases are. But you do not state yours, and you should. That's wrong. Tell the story, right? Be honest, please.